This morning, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Christ City Church, we are in a sermon series. And we are studying the names of God. We find the names of God in the Word of God. And it's important to study the Word of God because in the Word of God we find the names of God. And so far we talked about Elohim. Durant ça, nous parler de Elohim, which means God, the powerful creator. Qui veut dire bon Dieu, le créateur puissant. And we also talked about last Sunday Adonai. Et dimanche passé, nous parler de Adonai. How many people remember what Adonai means? Combien de monde qui songe que c'est Adonai? Pop quiz. How many people remember what Adonai means? All right, Nini. Com- oh, I'm sorry, uh, Kalio. You're a Lord. Good, good, ça good. Seigneur, non? Adonai means Lord. Adonai veut dire Seigneur. It means master. Il veut dire maître. So those who know God as Adonai, monde qui connaît bon Dieu comme Adonai, they know him to be their lord and they know him to be their master. Yo connaît bon Dieu c'est maître et seigneur. All right. So this morning I have about 30 minutes. Matin, j'ai à peu près 30 minutes. And I want to talk to you about another name for God. Et moi je veux parler de un autre nom pour bon Dieu. Lord bless this time. Bless your people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So there was an interesting court case, court case in the U.S. And this court case, it was called Brown versus the Board of Education. Okay, so Brown, Brown versus the Court of Education, this was back in 1951. Et Kasa venu en 1951. In Topeka, Kansas. So this was the story of a little girl named Linda. Linda. Linda, she was a third grader, and Linda, she wanted to go to school like every, like every other third grader. Linda, c'est ton petit monde qui a fait troisième année. Elle devait aller à l'école même genre avec troisième année. The problem was that Linda school was eight blocks away. Le problème non c'est que l'école Linda était à peu près huit rue de la Caille. Okay, and around that time, schools were segregated. Et durant tant ça, l'école était séparée. So you had schools for whites and schools for blacks. Et tu avais l'école pour noirs et l'école pour blancs. And so Linda, this little girl, she had to walk all the way somewhere very far to go to school. Et Linda marcher très loin de la Kylie. Meanwhile, there was a school that was close to her right across from where she stayed. Et And so she was denied entry to the school that was closest to her. Et l'école qui était près là. She was denied entry to the school. Elle était monde qui pouvait aller dans She l'école. was denied entry. So you pas quitter le rentrer dans l'école qui était près là parce que et um, uh, couleur poli. They didn't let her go because of her color Donc, of her skin. Malgré elle était gagné une l'école qui était là tout près là. Even though she had a school nearby. You pas quitter le rentrer dans l'école là. They didn't let her come. Donc il vient faire à cause que elle était noire, elle était obligé aller quelque part loin pour la l'école. Because of the color of her skin she had to go far. And so her parents decided to take the matter to court because they didn't like that. Et parents ont décidé aller dans dans tribunal parce que pas très bien ça. And they said, you know what, on the basis of racial discrimination, we're going to take you all to court. Je dis à cause de discrimination, sous peine d'aller dans le tribunal. Her parents want the parents wanted the daughter to go to school where the place that was closest to her. Parents ont voulu l'aller dans l'école qui tout près là. And so when they went to court, the trial decided that um, the trial decided that they did not rule in her favor. The state of Kansas basically said that it was legal for them to separate or for them to discriminate based on the skin color of this young lady. But according to the 14th Amendment of the Constitution, there is an equal rights protection clause that allows uh, people to go to school wherever they wanted to go to school. Mais dans le 4e yo, pour aller, aller, côté, 
So the family, even though they did not rule on their favor, the family said, we are going to go to the court of appeals. À cause de pas de fait, à cause de pas d'accepter car il était appelé, il est obligé à aller dans l'autre côte qui est plus haut que côte ça. OK. So basically Damsa, il était gagné droit pour il était à l'école avec tout l'autre monde, mais il a dit à cause de couleur poli, il a dit mettre l'école pour aller parce que dans temps ça, il était divisé l'école, il était gagné l'école pour les noirs et l'école pour les blancs. Donc qu'il y a par un yo premier jugement Il n'y a pas de faveur. Il y a un deuxième jugement qui est la cour d'appel. The court of appeals. The court of appeals, what it does, it, it, sends, the, it sends the case to a higher court called the Supreme Court. La cour d'appel, il n'y a pas de faveur dans l'autre court qui est plus haut que le court suprême. Okay. Now, the the Supreme Court of the US, it is the highest court of the country. The decisions of the Supreme Court usually they are final. Decision court suprême non, c'est une décision qui finale. They cannot be contested. Yo pa ka annuler annuler décision ça. So here in the US, you have district courts which are the lowest courts. And then after that, you have the court of appeals. If you didn't like a decision, you go to the court of appeals. And then the highest court is the Supreme Court, which is which makes the final decision on a matter. So if your case is rejected by the Supreme Court. Then you have no case because it is the highest court. So in other words, the district court may say one thing, but the Supreme Court can come over and overrule what the district court said. So this is the human court system. Ça, c'est, ça, c'est tribunal humain. And so, going back to Brown versus the Board of Education, Là, nous Brown avec aux the Supreme Court decided to overrule the decision from the lower courts. Tribunal suprême n'a annulé décision tribunal local n'a pas. And the Supreme Court says, you know what, little girl, you have the right to go to the school that's the closest to you Et suprême dit, si capable n'importe qui te And no one can discriminate where you can and cannot go for school because of your skin color. So the Supreme Court said it, it contacted all of the states of the country. And the court said, I'm going to overrule the laws that are currently here. Et suprême, dit, ma, annule, loi, qui est là, and I'm going to decide that it is legal for a young woman, even though she, her skin color is black, she can go to the school that is closest to Et her. Ma, pour jeune fille, ça, aller dans l'école, même, là, que loin, so the Supreme tout Court là. has the highest authority. Suprême, it has the highest level of power. And by the way, the judges who are part of the Supreme Court, they are very powerful and important people. They may be the most important people on this land that we're that we're living in. They they have a lot of power. Now, all that I just described to you, I just described the human court system. But there's a spiritual court system. In the spiritual court system, there's a Supreme Court. And there's a Supreme Judge. And there's one person who sits above everyone else and his name is El Elyon somebody say El Elyon El Elyon El Elyon Pastor Melky what does that name mean? 
The name El Elyon, non, El Elyon it means the most high God. Le Dieu très haut. The God that is supreme. Ça, c'est Dieu puissant, suprême. The God that is above. Le Dieu plus haut. Above every other God. De tout l'autre Dieu. So this morning, we're talking about the highest God. Matin, on a parlé le Dieu plus haut. When you say El Elyon. L'on dit El Elyon. You say the highest. Ou vous voulez dire le plus haut. The most exalted. Le plus exalté. And the most powerful. Et le puissant. Someone say El Elyon. On m'a dit El Elyon. The God that we're talking about this morning that has revealed himself. Bon Dieu qu'on a parlé qui révélait tête lui. He is positioned above everything else. Li au-dessus de toute bagaille. He sits and he reigns on high. Li chita et li règne le plus haut. And so because he is the highest, parce qu'il est le plus haut, he has the legal right to override. Li gien droit légal pour annuler. He has legal right to override decisions that's made down here. Because he sits on high. In other words, if he is the highest, en d'autres termes, s'il plus haut, he also has the final say. He has the final say. Not the doctors. Doctor. Not the boss. boss. Not the pilot. pilot he no? has the final word. Because he is the highest. Parce que les plus Donc, l'en a dit El Elyon. But when we say El Elyon. Nous avons parlé de mots ça que bon Dieu révélé à nous-mêmes. We're talking about this word that God revealed to us. Quand il révélé tête lui comme le Dieu le plus haut. Where he revealed himself as the highest. Le Dieu le plus exalté. The most exalted. Donc, n'importe là où est le Dieu plus haut ou bien là où est El, El Elyon when, dans la Bible. When you see the highest or El Elyon in the Bible. Où est le Dieu le plus haut. You see the Lord the highest. So let le tribunal monde là, yo prend yo décision. When the when this when this when this world takes a decision. Le tribunal qui pi ba yo décider. When the human court decided the lower court. Gagne yo le tribunal. There's another court. Gon le juge. There's another judge. Et c'est lui même qui pi haut. And he's the one who's the highest. Il est El Elyon. And his name is El Elyon. Now let me show you this in the Bible. Let me let me show you in the Bible. No, Genesis chapter 14. No, in Genesis 14. We hear, we see in Genesis 14 the story of a man named Abraham. No, when Genesis 14 is true, Abraham. Abraham, uh, just to give you some context, in Genesis 14. You saw me from the context in Genesis 14. Abraham is in a war. Abraham ten Okay, before the before the war, let me explain. Let me explain the context of Genesis 14. Avant ça, bon, m'explique au contexte là. So there's two armies. There's an army with five kings. Te gon armé, cinq armé de cinq rois. And there's a, a army with four kings. Et te gon lot armé qui gon quatre rois. Those two armies were at war against each other. Et deux armées ça eut à gommer ensemble. And it was the army with the four kings that overcame with the army with five kings. Which is a little bit counterintuitive because generally speaking in war, the person that has the most amount of people should have the should have the victory. But you have an army that had five kings win against uh, an army that had four kings win against an army that had five kings. Okay, are you following me so far? Are you following me so far? All right, now, Abraham is in a war now with the army that had the four kings. Abraham tenon guerre avec la main qui te gen 5 wa. And this army was not a small army because it had just defeated an army that had 5 kings. A mais ça pas de petit parce que il était juste seulement battant l'autre armée qui te gen 5 wa. And so here is Abraham about to face an army that has 4 kings. Mais Abraham qui va faire face avec on la main qui gen 5 qui gen 4 wa. But Abraham was not up to the challenge because first of all, Abraham was not a man of war. Mais Abraham lui même pas ton homme de la guerre avait dit pas très bien challenge ça. And so here you have Abraham with against an army of four kings. What's interesting is that this army of four kings 
they took his uh, nephew Lot into captivity. La messa qui gen katwa li te pran neveu li ki gen Lot. And they took him into cat, uh, uh, captivity. Okay. Now, when Abraham heard that they took his nephew Lot, he said, you know what? I'm going to do whatever I need to do because this is my nephew. I'm, I need to go and get Lot. The only problem was that Abraham was undersized. The problem was that Abraham was petit. Abraham did not have a lot of people. Abraham did not have a lot of training. Abraham did not have a lot of strategy. Now, I'll give it to him. Abraham had trained men. They had a little bit of, of strategy because they went to attack at night time. But Abraham only had 318 men. When you look at Genesis chapter 15 and you read the story I'm sorry, Genesis chapter 14 and you read the story you see that Abraham was outmatched. And verse 14, it says, When Abraham heard that his relative had been taken captive, he led out his trained men, born in his house, numbering 318. And so Abraham was 318 against a whole army of four kings. I don't know about you, but that's, that's simple math. 318 and then an army of four kings. And each of these kings had at least a thousand men. So let's do the math a little bit. You have 318 and then you have 4,000. 318 4,000. The math is pretty simple. The one who has the most people should win the war. Is that all right? Everybody understands, right? If I have 318, no matter how good they are, no matter how good their strategy is, but the one that has 4,000, the one that has 318, but we'll see in Genesis 14, and it says Abraham walked against him, during the night Avec 318 moon, with 318 men and he moon. beat the 4,000 he had strategy and he had some good men that, that know how to fight but there's a problem I don't know how, how good they're trying I don't know how good they're trying it doesn't matter how good the strategy is 4,000 against 318 you already know who's going to win you already know who's more powerful you already know who's more powerful you already know who's more powerful Mais la Bible dit c'est Abraham qui gagne. But Abraham, but the Bible Comment says Abraham won. How? Qui j'a Abraham? How did he win? Qui gagne 318 nèg? With 318. Là le combat 4000 nèg. He went against 4000. Moi gon problème là. There's a problem. Premier problème que me gagne. The first problem is Abraham comme leader. Abraham as a leader you don't enter a battle ah, like that avec, que nous are you with me you don't enter a battle si like that if I have 318 men with me et puis 4, devant, and there's 4,000 here ma di, ah, ça, I would say no this one's not for me parce que moi, 4, là, I see 4,000 here I only have 300, 318 Mais comme leader, but as a leader Abraham 
décidé d'aller quand même. Abraham decided to go. Pas qu'on s'acte dans tête Abraham. I don't know what went with him. Pas qu'on qui ça l'était pensé. I don't know what was he thinking. Mais quelque part dans l'idée Abraham. But somehow. L'idée pensé que 318 là. He think 318. C'est assez pour te gagner 4000 euros. Was enough to want 4000. Et c'est ça qui rivé. And that's what happened. Abraham vainc avec 4000 moun. He won. Non non, il vainc avec 318. He won with 318. Malgré lui compte 4000 moun. Even though he went against 4000. Donc c'est ça que fait wap li dans Genèse 14. And that's why when I read in Genesis 14. Verset 15 là. Verse 15. Everyone has their Bible? Est-ce que tout le monde a une Bible? Okay, today we don't have a screen so it's important that you have your Bible. Je dis à pas comme elle vraiment important pour que la pour une Bible. It says then he divided his forces against them at night. Et puis il divise force li on a pas dans nuit. He and his servants and he defeated them. Et lui même avec ses ventes li on les bat yo. And he pursued them as far as Hobath, which is north of Damascus. Les suivions juste rivé dans Horad qui c'est dans qui c'est dans partie nord Damascus. He defeated them. Li bat yo. Not only did he defeat them. Pas seulement li bat yo. But he pursued them. So this is not just a regular victory. But he he defeated them and then he said, that's not enough. I'm going to pursue you guys until I eliminate you all. Abraham Abraham the battle. Why? Abraham won the battle. Why? How did Abraham win this battle? I'm going to tell you how Abraham won the battle. In the same mindset that Abraham had. I'm going to give that to you as your word of encouragement this morning. Because just like Abraham, you may be in a fight this morning. Just like Abraham, you may be in a situation this morning. Just like Abraham, the army coming against you. It may seem like the army is too big. It may seem like the problem is too big. It may seem like this situation is too big. It was a mindset that had Abraham win this war. It was with the mentality that he won this battle. And what type of mentality? And he won this battle because for him he was serving the highest and his name is El Elyon. And after he won this battle as he was returning and he encountered a man and his name was Melchizedek. Melchizedek, ça. Melchizedek. C'était un monde mystérieux dans la Bible. He is a mysterious man in the Bible. Il ni commencement ni fin. He had no beginning and no end. Il était prêtre et il était roi. And he was a priest and a king. Dans la Bible, c'est pas tout le monde qui était prêtre et roi. In the Bible, not everyone can be a priest and a king. Si tu es prêtre ou pas de roi. If you're a priest, you can't be king. Sous pas sous tu es roi ou pas de prêtre. And if you were a king, you can't be a priest. Mais ce Melchisedec, il dit que le roi est prêt à la foi. But Melchizedek was a king and a priest. Qui vient faire me comprendre que Melchisedec, which makes me understand Melchisedec, c'était un type de Christ que il était. He was the one of God. C'était un un l'ombrage Christ que il était. He was a shadow of Christ. Même je Christ pas de Covini mais Christ était gagné des apparitions sur la terre. The same way Jesus didn't come yet, but he there was an appearance. So he encountered Melchizedek. And in verse 18, in Genesis 14. Genesis 14. And it says Abraham and Melchizedek, the king of Salem. He dit Abraham et Melchizedek roi de Salem. He brought out bread and wine. Il porte pain avec du vin. Now here's what's interesting. Melchizedek, he was priest of the Most High God. Melchizedek, c'était prêtre le Dieu très haut. Verse 19. Verse 19. And he blessed Abraham and said. Li béni Abraham el dit. Bless be Abraham. Benediction pour. Of God 
the most high le Dieu très haut. of God the most high le Dieu très haut. the secret why Abraham was able to win the fight Raison qui fait Abraham gain bataille, ça. because Abraham was serving El Elyon Parce que Abraham, tap servi à Abraham knew that he was outmatched Abraham, que en pile. Abraham knew that the men were further than him Lui connaît, he knew that the people were more experienced Lui than connaît, him était plus experience but passé. he knew who was on his side Mais he knew the God that was on his side. Bon he knew that that God bon Dieu was the Sahab. most high God. Le Dieu très and haut. if he had El Elyon on his side, El Elyon, it didn't matter who was on the other side. Pas besoin que qui a Abraham te connaît. He knows. Abraham te connaît. Abraham knew. Si El Elyon te na, te, te na kali, if El Elyon was in his side, he doesn't know who's on the other side. He doesn't need to know who's on the other Parce side. Dieu qui Parce que Dieu qui plus roi. Because the highest. Parce que Dieu qui plus souverain. The most sovereign. Lire le El Elyon. His name is El Elyon. Si El Elyon. Say El Elyon. Si El Elyon. Say El Elyon. Qui vient me faire comprendre. Which makes me understand. Moun qui n'a pas là. The one who's on your side. Moun ki nan bo Paola. The one who's on your Depuis side. Depuis c'est El Elion liye. Depuis if it's El Elion. Depuis c'est le Dieu très haut que liye. If it's the highest. Moi pas besoin connait qui est qui compte tout. I don't I don't need to know who's Mouen against you. Moi pas besoin connait qui l'armée qui compte tout. I don't know whose army is against Mouen you. Moi pas besoin connait qui maladie qui compte tout. I don't know whose sickness is against you. Moi pas besoin connait qui problème qui devant. I don't know what problems that you're Depuis standing against. Depuis c'est El Elion qui nan mène. But if it's if it's El Elion. Depuis c'est El Elion qui nan kao. Is on your side. What you have the victory already. Parce que c'est même qui pire. Because he is the highest. La réalité bien aimé. The reality is beloved. Sac pire. The highest. C'est lui même qui gagne dernier mot. That's the one who has the oh, final. Oh my legs are matter. I'm just saying it. Sac pire. The one who is the highest. C'est lui même qui gagne dernier mot. He has the final say. Bon me faut comprendre. Let me make sure I understand. Quelques mois de cela, Sister M. A month ago, chef There's a gang in Haiti. Qui by panic in Haiti. That was panicking the country. Do you know why? Parce que le drone. Because he had a drone. Et il dit, prend drone na. He took the drone. Et puis côté lié. And where he was. Na kai côté lié a. The house. Li file drone na le net. He was flying the drone. Et pendant que lui en l'air avec drone While he was up with the drone. Lui wè tout ça qui en bas. And he was seeing everything that was going on. Parce que me dit ça que pire a. Because the one who's the highest. Gain dernier mot a. As the final say. Pour y a tout moun panike. Everyone was panicking. Tout moun pa konn sa pou yo fè. They didn't know what to do. Lui même fè drone nan al sou tèt palais national. He even make the drone go to the Et white house. Et policier yo panike. And the police were panicking. Parce que policier pa gen drone. Because they don't have drones. C'est seul chef gang ça. He's the only gang. Côté li avec drone nan. Where he was with the drone. Li contrôle tout bagay nan. He was controlling everything. Donc les les ont montré vidéo la parler avec monsieur monsieur Lio. When they were showing the videos where he was talking. La dit attention pas faire là, gè moun la, gè police là. Don't go there. There's police over there. La contrôle tout bagay. He was controlling everything. Parce que li gon drone qui allait piro. Because he was a drone that went high. Et li gen pouvoir suprême nan pays a chef gang sa. Supreme authority over the country. A cause li domine a travers drone nan. Because he was controlling li with the drone. Li wè tout bagay sou drone nan. He saw everything. Li wè tout activité nan drone nan. He can see all the activities. Donc tout policier panike. All the police were panicking. Tout chef d'état panike. All the authorities were panicking. Parce que li contrôle tout bagay. Because he was controlling everything. C'est ça que fait aux états unis That's why in the US. Même sou la, sou, sou maison blanche. Even the White House. Sous besoin drone pas le voyer drone sous tête maison blanche. Do not fly a drone over the White House. Sous besoin yon, sous besoin yon, ma connait yon hélicoptère pas voyer hélicoptère sous tête maison blanche. If you need a helicopter, do not send it over Parce the White House. Parce que yon connait si moun na ka sous tête ou. Because they know if this person can be above you. Moun na ka contrôler. They can control you. Si avion ka passer sous tête ou. If the plane can go above you. Avion ka 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 contrôler. This plane can control you. Si drone na ka sous tête ou. If this drone Drone can be over you. Drone up can control you. It can control you. No, and Chef Gang Sali mette panic a travers pays ya. This gang chief, because he mette panic a travers pays ya. He was panicking the country. 
Parce que c'est lui-même qui t'est arrivé pire. Because he was the one who can go high. Même qu'on ait un monde qui pire au passé de Onizoa. But I know someone who's higher. Qu'on ait un monde qui chit à pire au passé de Onizoa. Lirel est El Elion. His name is El Elion. Le Dieu suprême. The supreme. Le Seigneur des seigneurs. The Lord of lords. Monde qui chit à sous monde là. The person who sits on the throne. Monde qui a contrôlé monde là. The person who controls the world. La vie la. The person who controls Moun your life. The person who controls your tomorrow. El Elyon. His name is El Elyon. Le Dieu suprême. The supreme Donc, God. No El El Elyon, ça, the name El Elyon. C'est you know que you buy, que Juif you buy, puis you reconnaître bon Dieu you à travers nous ça. It's a name that the Jewish gives to recognize God. Mais nous même chrétiens Nouveau Testament. But us believers of the New Testament. Nous gagnons l'autre nom. But we have another Name. We have a name. His name is Jesus. And in Philippians chapter two. In Philippians two. Apostle Paul dit. Apostle Paul said. Car Dieu lui a donné un nom. That he has been given a name. Au-dessus de tout autre nom. Above all names. Et non ça. And this name. Tout genou doit fléchir. All knees shall bow. Tout langue doit déclarer. And all tongues shall confess. Que Jésus est Seigneur. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Parce que non ça lit au-dessus de tout autre nom. Because this name is above all names. Moi pas connais qui l'autre nom yo ka citer. I don't know what the names they might say. Moi pas connais qui l'autre nom yo ka mentionner. I don't know the other names they might mention. Mais non Christ. But the name of Christ. Le nom Jésus. The name of Jesus. Il est le nom au-dessus de tout autre it nom. It is above all names. C'est le nom de Jésus. And his name is Jesus. Matin pendant que m't'a prié. This morning while I was praying. Mais ça qui vient dans cœur moi. This is what comes to my heart. Ou a servi un bon Dieu qui gagne un nom qui plus haut. You're serving a God that has the highest name. Pour qui ça va marcher parce pour qui ça va marcher comme on gagne un bon Dieu non qui plus bas. Why are you walking as if he has the lowest name? Wap servon bon Dieu ki gen nom ki plus haut ha. You serving a God that has the highest name. Pou ki sa wap marche kòm wap servon bon Dieu nom ki plus haut ha. Why are you walking as if he has the lowest name? Pastor Mel ki ki jan ki jan expliquer. Can you explain this to me how? N'importe le problème bon panique. Whenever you panic when there's a problem. Le, la peur vini dans la vie. Whenever fear comes to your life. Non sens ou prend non piroa. You took this name that is the highest. Et pour descendre non. And you lower it. Non attitude ou. And your attitude. Ou prend non piroa. You took the highest name. Et pour descendre. And you lower it. Non gens qu'on gère famille ou situation. The way you treat your family. Ou prend non qui piroa. You took the highest name. Et pour descendre. And you lower it. Cependant, ou gen nom ki piro a. Meanwhile, you have the highest. Ou ap servi bon Dieu ki piro a. You're serving the highest. Lò rentre yon kote. When you enter somewhere. Quel que soit sa krive ou nan. No matter what happens in your life. Rentre kote avec confiance. Enter with confidence. Rentre, mba dou rentre avec orgueil. I don't say enter with pride. Se pa sam dou. That's not what I said. Mwen dou rentre avec confiance. I said, enter with confidence. Que wap servi le plus haut Dieu. That you are serving the highest God. Et sak piro wa. And the one who's the highest. C'est lui même qui gagne dernier mot wa. Is the one who has the final say. Est-ce qu'on a dit au monde ça matin en disant piro wa? Can you tell somebody the person who's the highest? Si c'est lui même qui gagne dernier mot wa. Is the one who has the final say. Sak piro wa. C'est lui qui gagne dernier mot wa. He has the final say. Encouragement pour matin. My encouragement for you this morning. Levez non li quel que soit côté où allez. Raise his name wherever you go. Levez non li dans toute situation. Lift his name in every situation. Levez non li à travers attitude. Lift his name through your attitude. Levez non li à travers foi. Lift his name through your faith. Yeah. Quel que côté où allez. There's places you go. Et puis. Ou est situation impossible. You see the situation is impossible. Et back, and you back up. C'est comme si on pas de bon bon Dieu qui plus haut. It was as if you didn't have the highest. C'est comme si on pas servi un bon Dieu qui plus haut. It was as if you're not serving the God who's the highest. Il y a quelque situation qui paraît devant. The situation that presents itself. Et puis cœur commence à sauter. And your heart begins to pound. C'est comme si rien, c'est comme si on observe un bon Dieu, c'est comme si non lui c'est non plus bas. It's as if his name is the lowest. Pourtant nous connais. And meanwhile. Nous connais. We know. 
que mon Dieu n'a servi à. That the God we serve. Les mêmes qui piwo. He is he is the highest. Et le fait que les piwo. And because he is the highest. C'est les mêmes qui gagnent dernier mot. He has the final say. Moi déclare dans situation là. I declare this in your situation. C'est mon Dieu qui gagne dernier mot. That God will have the final say. Moi déclare dans problème là. And your problem. C'est mon Dieu qui gagne dernier mot. God will have the final say. Ça qui devant matin. Everything that is in front of you. C'est pour bon Dieu gagner dernier mot. May he have the final say. C'est pour connaître qui est soit servi. May he know that who you're serving. C'est pour connaître qui est soit servi. May he know who you're serving. Au nom de Jésus. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen.